Ecclesiastes chapter number 3 from verse 1. To everything there is a season and a time. To every purpose under heavens. Verse 2. A time to be born and a do what? And a time to die. A time to plant and a time to pluck up that which is planted. Verse 3. A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to break down and a time to build up. Verse 4, the last verse. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. That is to say, there is a time and season for anything. There is a time and season for everything. Let me talk on the topic I try to remember your creator. Remember your creator. Church, all the signs we need to know, we have known them. We have seen them. Only one thing is remaining that has not happened. Only one thing that has never happened, that will happen soon, is the rapture. Rapture can happen any time, any day, any minute. Expect it. Expect it. Church, remember you are sent to this earth. It's not your permanent resident. It's a temporary place you will stay. A day, a time, a season is coming that when somebody like you and somebody like me will be no more. Maybe that time our children's children will continue the generation. But remember, rapture was a happen. The Bible says the dead will go first. Then thereafter, we that are remaining will be caught up with him. That is if our way pleases the Lord. That is if our way pleases the Lord. My emphasis is on that verse 2. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to be born was a time when everybody would be celebrating. See what see woe, see woe. Wow, or be a mama, or come here, be a woe, or you may or be a woe, yari yari. And the other time is a time to mourn when that fellow is gone. So there is time and season for everything. But what I'm trying to explain to you now, remember your creator. I made up my mind to make everybody happy because nobody knows tomorrow. I will try as much as possible to make sure that everyone is happy. But nobody knows tomorrow. I want you to know that it is not by age that you go. It's not by old age. It's not by seniority. It can happen at any time. But people are walking on the street. You will greet them. They will greet you. They will smile on you. And you never know that they are not complete human beings. 
But you that is complete, there is an error in serving God. You pick his offenses. You see errors in your neighbor's life. You see offenses in pastor. You see offenses in mommy G.O. You say, why did they talk to you like this? Why they are some who is praying, Lord, if I can get out of this, all the days of my life, I will serve you. Remember, there was a man somewhere who gave you divine help. Remember, there was a man somewhere who divinely protected you from harming of the wicked ones. Remember your creator. Be very careful on how you treat those around you. Most especially that man, that youth that you thought he has no hope. You are not the God who created him. A day can change him. A day can change him. If you know that tomorrow is going to be your day, I know that you will make your way plain today. If you know that next Sunday is going to be your day, I know that today you will call all those who offended you, all those you offended and plead and ask for mercy and forgive them, make your way plain. But the truth is, nobody know the day he or she will go. Where are you? Where were you not know, in church? Say, Pastor was talking to me anyhow. Why were you not know, in church? I don't know. I, I feel like not going to church. Why were you not know, in church? I, I don't have transport. Those who are on which year, if, if you tell them to trek, from Ukbowa Oluku to Melu for one week so that they can be healed, they will look back. Am I, making, am I making sense? I am not criticizing you, but one day you will meet your creator. One day you and I we meet our creator. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to laugh and a time to mourn. Try your personal best to make people happy around you.